Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again for Conic Night Gaming, back playing more! Whatever this game is, Universe Sandbox, that's it, there we go. I can remember this thing. Uh, oh, I can somehow see my taskbar still, even though I am in full screen. Uh, properties, properties, auto-hide, apply, there we go. It'll pop up if I... Nope, no it won't. It's all good now. Yay. Uh, what is this thing? What even is that? Is that a one-time thing? No, it must be one of the more elliptical ones like Sedna there. Anyways, what are we going to do today? Well, I spent the last half hour uh, discovering the absolute largest you could make a star or any kind of object that's not a nova or black hole. And you want to know how big it is, don't you? Well, and to do that, now we're going to go ahead... And just use the solar system here for a second. I'm gonna pause the game so that we don't kill the system immediately. Get rid of the sun. And let's go ahead and add some stars. Let's go ahead and add, uh, where's, okay, Betelgeuse is a good example. Look at how big the Betelgeuse is right here. It takes up all of the inner planets and then even Jupiter. Betelgeuse is huge. It takes up all the inner planets and it seems like most of Jupiter's orbit as well. Jupiter might actually uh, just be safe from it. Uh, if I unfreeze this, it will pr almost certainly uh, not be good. It will almost certainly die. So yeah, we're going to get rid of that there. And what's, what's the next biggest star we can go ahead and take a look at here? Uh, I believe UI Scooty is the l largest known star, so. UI Scooty. I'm gonna go ahead and put it. All right here. And then that definitely does take up Jupiter's orbit. Jupiter is dead, and Saturn is awfully close, and it, it's not going to go very well. So, yeah. But the largest thing I found you could make is so absurdly huge, it's, like, hard to contemplate. Is it here? Where is it? Use your objects. Here we go. So you are a scooty that th this big. We're zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. Look at that. There's the solar system. The entirety of our lovely solar system. And then here's this object. N no. <laughs> Just how? And it's, it's not even um, a nova. This is still a star. Like, I'm going to place it there. Everything is dead, but, you know, sets his life. Look at this thing. This is absurd. Uh, almost 55,000 astronomical units. Uh, in case you did not know, one astronomical unit is from the Earth to the Sun. This is almost 55,000 to the Earth and Sun and back. That, just what? What? And then mass is 4.77 times the Milky Way galaxy. Um. What? What? I am, like, I got to the very last bit. If I turn this into 20, it goes into a black hole. Can't do that, obviously. But 
But yeah. Let's just. Launching seizure objects. There we go. I was experimenting before with other things, and these were with uh, novas, not stars. So you can see considerably smaller, like Sun Nova Remnant. I got that to be. Uh, that high, the mass of the sun, but only three uh, astronomical units. Still big. You'd still probably get to Mars, like, easily. But, yeah. That was a remnant. Okay, we're gonna see what happens if we put my scooty object next to this. You want scale, huh? Where's the rest of our galaxy? Okay, here it is. Here's our solar system. Uh, two next to this. You wanna know what our sun is compared to this? Are you mad? Okay, going pretty much through it now. At sun, our simple sun. There we go, that's about as close as I can get it there. Alright, that's our sun. And then we have literally a flat line for whatever this is. If I put it in real time, Everything's going to go crashing into it so fast, it's not even going to be funny. And yeah, it's stable. It stays like this, actually. And yeah, almost immediately, everything just goes crashing into it. Everything that was there is not anymore. That... <sighs> now... I know what you're thinking. This is absurdly bright. And oh, wow, the sun's... Does the sun have a stable orbit around this thing? Look at this. No idea what happened to the rest of our uh, thing, but the sun actually has an orbit around this thing. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Alright, I think we lost it now. <laughs> I have no idea where the thing went. So we're going to have to uh, add our thing back. Alright, it was added somewhere. I can't find it. Awesome. Okay. Let's just go ahead and make a new system. Add our scooty. There we go. Nice and lovely. And I want to know. If we put the Earth around it. Okay. First of all, can we even view the zone? No. There is no habitable zone. Unless the green thing is it. It might be it. It's just so so blended in with the rest of the zones that it doesn't matter. Or it's probably just the rings because, or you know, the light rings because everywhere we look, it's a thing. All right, 
So, add. Now let's go ahead and add our planet. Add our lovely Earth. Uh, let's put it in the green to be safe. Alright, that's that, that's that. Climate is actually doing not horribly. Let's speed it up a little bit. Okay, it's going down, never mind. Okay, I wanted to, to know the orbit time. How long would it take to orbital period 290 years that is actually not as bad as I thought like I thought for sure it would be longer than that like if we go and make a new one and use normal scooty as our star So there's normal scooty view zone yeah there we go here we can see the habitable zone thing meanwhile uh, for my my monstrosity of a star I'm gonna go ahead and add it like you see this Habitable zones, and then that. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go to Scooty here and add the little earth. Habitable zone, right close to the edge, like I'm pretty sure it might be. So here's set earth around orbital period. Uh, 17,000 years, or 11,743 years. Yeah. So, what I was wondering is why... Oh my god. Note to self. Do not have super spooky ringtone when doing anything. It'll be super spooky. Sp uh, spooky scary. So we're going to go ahead and add our massive star once again. That. And set Earth to go around it once again. I wonder why. I did the thing. Planets. Earth. Yay. There we go. That's somewhat in the green zone. Or what would be a green zone. Yeah, look at that. 200 years. Yeah. That's just getting dumb. So we're going to delete the earth here. And add it back. We're gonna make it a reasonable, reasonable uh, velocity. What? What? Why is it? Why physics? What are you doing? When I try to add something that's light years away, it's saying it'll be, it's saying it'll be done doing the thing. And text message. So Earth, it should realistically take millions of years. And shut up the phone, oh my God. Total velocity motion. Rotational speed. Orbital. Yeah, 
What is my phone doing? Cancel. Orbital period. Okay, so for unknown reasons, uh, even though this thing is massively huge, uh, Earth is like, nah, man, I'll, I'll go around you faster than the speed of light. Yeah, whatever. Realistically, nothing's realistic. But anyways, I just wanted to show you my gigantic scooty. Isn't it lovely? I guess once you go beyond a certain point, orbits break. Oh well. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course subscribe. Thanks, Game Boy Out. I will see you in the future.